So are these things measured in horsepower? <laughs> Hi there, I'm Jared. This is a day in the life of a solar power technician. This is Aiden who's gonna be shadowing me today. Stick around guys, cause I'll be quizzing him later. Let's get into it. Let's do it. I work for Volt Modern. We're here today on a commercial install. We're going over layout, wire management, and taking a look at the switch gear. All right, Aiden, let's grab a panel real quick, bud. Grab both hands, they could be a little heavy. This is a 400 watt. Make sure we don't scratch it for the customer. So does it come out of my paycheck if I drop this? Uh, no, we're not that uptight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, tie this down and we'll hit the road. We'll get to the job site. Sweet, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and line them out. We got our measurements. We have a center point here. We go to our 42 and a half and we'll go ahead. You see, we already marked it out. We'll grab our baskets and start doing some production and laying it down. Got it. What are the bricks for? The bricks are to hold down the array itself from uplift of windage and stuff like that. What exactly are all your responsibilities? Of course, you know, we lay in the panels, we double check our safety, we customer contact, we test the breakers, we test the wires, we test our disconnects, following the plans to code. Wow, that's interesting, I never knew that. I actually have another question. What got you into the solar industry? Well, I started off at a young age doing the National Guard and that built in some real good, you know, responsibility in me. And uh, this industry just fit just perfect for me with that structure that the military background that it gave. That's awesome. So what kind of a person should I be to get into this field? You have to be a good communicator. The attention to detail is one of the main things that we have to do for the safety aspect of it and the quality control of it. You definitely want some kind of electrical background and a good basis of understanding electricity. Did you learn all of those skills like on the job through like an apprenticeship or was it through schooling that showed you that? Uh, on the job training and apprenticeship and having great leaders in this industry. There is no school for solar. It's a jack of all trades and we've all come together over the years and built this industry. Go ahead, nice and easy. Watch the trip hazards there. Mm -hmm. All right, and you see how important the brackets are for the panel to sit flush so we get the proper tilt? That determines the production value of the panel, if it's flat or tilted more. What do you love most about your job? Well, one of the main reasons I got into this is to give back a little bit. I'm out in the community. It's helping the environment, the physical part of it. I love it. You get to work your whole mind and body every day. It's great. You could really make a good living doing this industry. I've been able to raise a big, beautiful family and have a farm and everything. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, it is. It's really good, man. I love it. These are my pigs when I'm not on the roof. Okay, Aiden, gonna jump in with the team and finish wiring out the rest of it. Go ahead and unwind it like this and get your whips nice and stretched out. The power is just generating the panels and then we have to get the wires to run back to the inverter to invert the power. So what's the process for getting into the solar industry? Do you need to go get like any education or like an apprenticeship or a trade school or anything like that? You wanna have your GED or high school diploma. From there, there's a lot of on the job trainings. You can get your NAPSA certified. You become a carded electrician and all those different avenues. The greatest thing is, is you don't have to have a college degree. You can do on the job training and get very far in this career. Good job, buddy. So do you have to drill a hole in the roof or does it run through? We will be running conduit through the ceiling and mounting a disconnect on the exterior wall here and okay. then piping over to the switch gear. We'll be pulling wires and we'll verify what suite we're tying into and we will verify that the breaker is the proper amperage before we fire up. You ready for a quiz, buddy? Absolutely. All right. How would you describe the work I do? Installing solar panels, definitely physically intensive, a lot of heavy lifting involved, and hot weather as well. Is there anything that surprised you about the industry we showed you? Yeah, I thought that it was like fairly simple to install solar panels and like a lot of people could do that if they wanted to. What are the pros and cons that you've seen? I think some of the cons would be um, the heat on the roofs and having to get on your back a lot to get under the solar panels and depending on who you are climbing up ladders. But um, the pros would definitely be, you get paid fairly well. And the community of people who work in the solar industry and the roofing industry as a whole, they all are really fun people to be around. 
and hard workers. What kind of skills do you think you need to be doing this kind of work? Uh, definitely organizational skills, attention to detail, teamwork, communication. Is this a career you see yourself doing? I could definitely see myself doing this career. It seems like something where I would always be doing something and constantly having changes of scenery, traveling around everywhere to different job sites to install solar panels. Overall, be cool. All right. Well, thanks for coming on out, dude. I appreciate your time. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Awesome. I had fun. All right. Good, good, good. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like our channel. And don't forget to download the Indeed mobile app. See you next time. Have a good one. All right, let's do it. Absolutely. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>